Island residents will be happy to hear that they will be paying less each month for power. PNC's Tim McHenry with the support. Once a month, we dread it, the power bill. But now, according to GPA, that bill will go down, thanks to the elimination of two surcharges. GPA announced in a press release Sunday evening that they have deactivated the self-insurance fund surcharge, as well as the working capital fund surcharge. GPA general manager talked to PNC earlier today, and he explains more. The self-insurance fund was to build up to $20 million, and actually it did that as of July 31st. So that is being deactivated uh, currently. And that actually is also a 1.4%, but that's a decrease because it goes away. Simply put, GPA has been saving and paying off debts, and now the ratepayers are reaping the short-term benefits. Beneventi says that by deactivating the self-insurance fund, this will offset the recent 1.4% increase in the LIAC rate. Furthermore, due to the deactivation of the working capital fund, ratepayers will see near $5 savings. The total change ratepayers will see on October 1st when the capital fund is deactivated will be $4.66, or a 2.3% 2 2 decrease for households that use 1,000 kilowatts. But the deactivation of the rate could change due to weather or natural disasters. The self-insurance fund is a reoccurring surcharge that gets turned on or off depending on whether GPA uses it. It's essentially money set aside to help GPA pay for power lines or poles in the event of a major disaster. If a storm were to hit and GPA were to use at least $2 million from the self-insurance fund, GPA will then have the right to reactivate the surcharge. For now, however, Beneventi says that when the price of oil is down, things are good for ratepayers. So it's also good for GPA and its ratepayers because then, you know, they, it's really, we're always looking for ways to reduce costs and certainly uh, one of it is that it's not in our control is the price of oil and when it comes down and stays down, hey, by all means, you know, we're, we're very happy with that. For PNC News, I'm Tim McKenna.